The Israel and Hamas war has now entered day nine. Now, as the deadline for the evacuation of hospitals in Gaza City and the Palestinians flee to the south, all those things have now passed. A ground assault has now begun on Gaza, and this appears imminent as the Israeli Defense Forces are now mobilizing tanks and artillery near the Gaza border. There's also intense bombardment in densely populated areas that have now begun. And this all these things are now leading to a ground invasion. Israeli tanks were seen on the border with Lebanon on Saturday as the military remained on high alert. Israel said that it has struck militants trying to infiltrate Israel from Lebanon. And this took place on Friday. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has now said that he's all set to visit the Israeli infantry right outside the Gaza Strip, asking them if they are ready for the next stage. I have with me my colleague Gaurav Savant, who's been on the ground reporting the Israel Hamas war. Everything that's happening is being brought to you face to face. And what all is happening is being given to you by Gaurav Savant. Gaurav, it seems like things are now increasingly getting intense. Israel very clearly now saying that they are all set to invade the Gaza Strip. You know, these rocket warring sirens have been going off uh, in different parts of Israel virtually every day ever since uh, that terror attack by Hamas on the 7th of October. Uh, of course, uh, in Tel Aviv late last night and also day before yesterday, Hamas terrorists have tried to target Tel Aviv, but um, even though their long-range rockets attempted to come close, the Iron Dome system got activated and neutralized the incoming rockets. That's the information uh, we've been able to glean so far, we've been able to gather so far. But uh, it's in the southern parts of Israel where tension is palpable, where tension is much more. Also because the reaction time from the firing of the rocket till the rocket hitting target it is much lesser. Uh, we were reporting from both Sederot and Eshkelon earlier yesterday and there were multiple uh, rocket warning sirens that rang out. People rushed to uh, bomb shelters. In some instances, while the Iron Dome was able to intercept most of the rockets, a couple of rockets successfully uh, managed to hit uh, uh, targets, unfortunately damaging property, not just in Eshkelon but also in Sederot. And these instances have actually um, increased in not in frequency but in numbers so while of course it's not 5000 rockets like the barrage uh, when hamas terrorists struck on the 7th of october but uh, the frequency has increased in the sense that both sederot and eshkelon in southern israel are repeatedly being targeted while israel has been pounding hamas held territory on the gaza strip and has asked people to move uh, south of uh, Wadi Gaza or the Gaza River. Hamas has issued a counter threat. Hamas has said every Israeli should wicket Sederot and Eshkelon or they will continue to be targeted. And to an extent, both Sederot and Eshkelon have been vacated by most of the residents. Very few remain there. And this goes on to show that even after eight days of intense pounding by Israeli air force and artillery, Hamas retains the capacity to strike and strike in different parts of Israel from Sederot and Eskelon in the south to Tel Aviv in the central part of this country. And the added pressure comes from the northern part of the country where Hezbollah uh, may now just get activated in terms of using longer range rockets and missiles that can target uh, not just the border areas in the north but also cities like Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. So for Israel there's not just clear and present danger but danger that is only increasing.